Today I will show you how to make cute baby booties on the passup. You can find the diagram on page 58 in the small stitch pattern book. First make sure the rocking handle is in its lowest position. On the front bed raise 12 needles to the left and 12 to the right of zero. You must have a total of 24 needles in working position. Place the edge springs on the last needles and make sure the latches are closed. Now raise 24 needles on the back bed. You have to observe the needle rule. Set the front lock to N and the stitch size to 4. Set the back lock the same way, the lever to N and the stitch size to 4. Insert the orange strippers and take the yarn. I will use acrylic yarn to make the booties. Rotate the rocking handle one full turn anti-clockwise and knit one row. The lock must be on the left side of the machine. It should look like this. Now rotate the rocking handle one full turn clockwise. Knit one row to finish the cast on. It should look like this. Clear the row counter and set both locks to AX, the stitch size must remain the same. Raise pushers and the row needles in working position on the front bed. Now use the orange ruler and arrange them in one to one division. The leftmost pusher must be in working position. Raise pushers and the row needles in working position on the back bed. Use the orange ruler and arrange them in one to one division. The leftmost pusher must be in resting position. Now knit 4 rows. It should look like this. Clear the row counter, set both locks to N and knit 6 rows. Clear the row counter. Raise one needle to the left on the front and one on the back bed and place the edge springs on them. Now knit one row. Raise one needle to the right on the front and one on the back bed and place the edge springs on them. Knit one row and repeat. Raise one needle to the left on both beds and move the edge springs. Knit one row and raise one needle on each bed on the other side of the lock. You have to raise needles on the opposite side of the lock. Before you place the edge springs, make sure the latches are closed. You have to repeat these steps until you need 16 rows, the lock must be on the right side of the machine. I will leave the whole process so you can skip this part of the video, but please don't watch the whole thing. Tell me how you got into knitting on this machine.
Now you must have a total of 40 needles in working position on the front and on the back bed of the machine. The row counter must be at 16 rows. Clear the row counter, set the front lock to AX and press the left arrow key. Raise the pushers and the row needles in working position on the front bed. Now arrange the pushers in 2x2 division as shown in the video. Need 2 rows. Don't clear the row counter, press the zero key to disengage the arrow key and need 4 rows. Press the left arrow key and need 2 rows. Press the zero key again and need 4 rows. Continue repeating these steps until the row counter is at 30 rows. By the way, my friend Galaxy3 gave me the idea for this booty, she's one of a kind. Now you can clear the row counter. Set the front lock to N and knit 8 rows. You can lower the pushers, we won't use them anymore. But don't worry, when the lever is set to N, the machine will ignore them. Their position won't have any impact on the final result. On the back lock, increase the stitch size to 5, the other settings must remain the same. Rotate the racking handle anti clockwise to its upper position. Remove the edge springs, use the double eye botkin tool and transfer all the stitches to the opposite needles on the back bed. Place the edge springs on the last needles and make sure the latches are closed. On the front bed raise all 40 needles in working position. Rotate the racking handle clockwise to its lowest position and knit one row. Lower the front bed and use the orange ruler to push the stitches to the center of the zigzag row. Take the yellow tool and make a simple chain stitch cast stop. When you take the last stitch, wrap the yarn from the lock behind the latch into the hook and pull it through. Then raise the front bed and remove the knitting from the machine. Now you can see how it looks right after you take it from the machine. This is the right side. And this is the wrong side. Now we have to sew it. First fold it with the right side inside. Take the cast off tail and use a tapestry needle to sew the bottom. Pass the needle through the loops from the cast off. In the end, the seam will be invisible.
Finally, I will make a tiny knot and cut the excess yarn. If you don't want to make a knot, you can weave the tail in between the stitches. Now you can see the seam on the bottom. You can't tell that it is hand sewed. Now we have to sew the other side. Make sure the booty is folded with the right side inside. Thread the cast on tail into a tapestry needle and weave the tail about 1 cm in the cuff towards the bottom of the booty. Then start sewing. I will catch the loops on the edge of both sides, I'm not sure if this is the right way to sew it, if you know a better way you can skip this part. Make a knot and cut the excess tail. Now turn the booty inside out. This is the final result. Now fold the upper half of the cuff. It should look like this. To prevent the bodies from falling off, you can knit an eye cord using only three needles, then you can fold the cuff and sew it so you can tie the booty. These booties are a great gift in combination with this baby blanket. That's all for today, thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you in my next video.